Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we will be learning about variables. The variables are uh, built in within the PowerShell and you do have different variables, but I'm going to make it very easy to uh, remember and to use those variables. Uh, before jumping into the variables, let's um, search uh, or let's discover uh, what are the variables are available uh, with the help of get hyphen help uh, with the uh, variables. So here I can type as a variable. So I should be able to see here uh, some of them. So these are anyway from the Azure specific, so you can ignore these, but you should be able to see here, at least these are the four of them. So out of these, you can check out here, uh, one would be the clearing any of the variable if it is already stored. And if you want to retrieve some kind of, you know, uh, variables from the current console that is from this session you can get it also you can create a new variable you can remove that variable and you can also set some kind of you know variable uh, either way we don't need to remember any of these uh, or maybe sometimes we may have to remember based on the scripting requirement let's have a look on it I'm going for the basic one in this situation uh, I'm not going to use any of them uh, right away instead uh, what I'm going to do is here uh, let's say uh, example value one is the one which we wanted to you know store in a variable uh, for example here I need to put uh, as a variable always starts with a dollar so I need to put as a dollar and then I can see here as a uh, take uh, as equal to maybe uh, two plus five example uh, that's a value maybe so if I just uh, click on uh, hit on enter so in tomorrow if I want to you know, come back and say what exactly this value it's gonna actually give me output as 2 plus 5 whatever it is there inside of this so very similarly if I give here uh, maybe another value maybe for example um, value uh, example in this case equal into a text in this case hello uh, it doesn't matter you know what you're trying to put it either number or uh, maybe a text and the length of that it doesn't matter actually it it's gonna simply uh, storing that entire value so in this case I'm just typing as the uh, value so I should be able to get as a hello or uh, I can do one more thing uh, maybe I can uh, write the output um, you know write the uh, command light for uh, writing output uh, to the whatever the value for example in this case value so it's going to write out what is whatever the value was stored inside this so it's easy uh, you put any of the value that is going to store here let me put one example here a, a better example for example uh, here this service which is coming up the bit specific service so what I can do is I built this uh, small syntax so I can say that maybe I can put it uh, here uh, maybe underscore where uh, this is where I'm putting uh, the entire uh, command let so what's gonna happen is uh, whenever I call as uh, simply as dollar uh, var uh, it's actually gonna repeat the entire command let whatever it is inside of this var so that's how you're gonna use it you need to remember one thing these all are the temporary values because uh, when you close this session uh, these values will not be uh, written back so if you're trying to write in a script yes this will be very useful because within that script you can uh, call many times by using the variable and that time it will be very useful so in other v this entire variable now has the object has been referenced so when you maybe you know if you look at here when uh, I have stored here as the hello it is just returning the value as a hello but in this case the object results are getting uh, as the output so that's very interesting so now since I'm getting as the output with the uh, object uh, output so I should be able to play uh, more on this for example I should be able to do here just the name if I wanted to find out what is this name example I can say name so that would actually results as a beats and similarly I can go for the status that means it's so easy that uh, within the script, you know, when you wanted to play uh, with this entire command, you can put it into one variable and then, you know, you can uh, work on it. And f uh, similarly, if I want to start this service, like, you know, we tried with the uh, complete uh, where object and filtering all that, instead of all that, you can simply uh, say that, you know, start. And then uh, with this, it, it's going to actually... Uh, 
it's gonna uh, start the service but uh, since it is in the stop state it's gonna start the service but the value will not be uh, visible as the for example if I just go to the status uh, again one more time it still show as the stopped because the value was stored as a permanent uh, within this console uh, as this value the, the output was stored inside this so the current state was not at updated to do that what we have to do is we have to actually update uh, the value so which is nothing but a refresh okay so that would actually uh, gives the uh, command to refresh that means the command one more time will be executed within the memory and whatever this status was there the latest status we can recall for example if I just want status I should be able to see as a running so that's how it's gonna work and also it's just it's not just this you can also work with the arrays and you can uh, let me let me give you one example in this case like uh, uh, arrays for example I'm gonna put it here uh, now I'm gonna update here uh, with the var as uh, like one comma two comma three so if i just give this uh it's gonna actually take an output and if i just put uh, what is the value of the var it's gonna give me the array information uh, as you know that arrays always start uh, by counting zero and the one and two that means the one uh, and minus one and if you're trying to you know, count from here or in another way it would be actually zero one uh, two three if i want to know about uh, the value of the current array example the number uh, maybe what is the uh, position of the two value in the array it is the three because as i said it, it will always count from zero one and this is the two uh, so the value here is three because uh, two value is equaling to 3 and if you are uh, trying to change the value to something else what you can do is uh, the value uh, you want to you know update to some other value maybe uh, you want to update to 6 it's simply you know, press enter that would actually uh, gives the value as the latest update for example here it's already updated to 6 uh, the position of the 2 so that's how you're going to use the uh, variable now you can also do the maths uh, with the help of the variables for example uh, in the situation I can uh, maybe say that uh, welcome to the wall example uh, that kind of you know, sentences I can build uh, by joining the variables or maybe let's give it a try like var1 equivalent to net x example and uh, var2 is the value which is uh, maybe I can give as the 2018 if I want the var3 equivalent to var1 plus var2 so it is actually doing in the background the calculation and if I just try to get the output of var3 I'm going to get as the combination of this and this so in this case uh, net x uh, and 2018 which is going to come up so this is an interesting and easy v with the help of powershell you can also use the arrays list arrays indexing uh, and also multi-dimension arrays all different types of arrays you can use and also you can sort them uh, with uh, methods like sort options uh, th there are many things can be done within the uh, variables and as we progress with the scripting you should be able to learn and uh, use the uh, whatever the available variables are available I hope this is useful for you thank you for watching this